Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope you're having a great weekend. Looking forward to church together on Sunday. And now we're going to go away from uh, the regular stream of things. We finished up 2 Samuel, the whole Samuel narrative. And this Sunday I thought it would just be fun to do a bit of a Bible prophecy update. So we're going to be Bible Prophecy Sunday this week. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So, you know, it's good to talk about these things from time to time. And I was, I was thinking about this. I was remembering that when I first moved back to the Sunshine Coast, uh, Lisa and I rented this. We only had two kids, you know, no Isabella yet. And we were living down on the waterfront in Langdale, right by the ferry terminal. And well, I, I really uh, thought, man, I, I, I wouldn't like to live in Langdale near the ferry, but I, I grew to love it. It's like I didn't need a watch anymore. I just knew when the ferry was coming in. But one of the things I love was a beautiful foggy day when you couldn't see anything. And I would hear the ferry coming, you know, that big fog, fog horn would go, and I'd look out the window to see if it was coming. No, I couldn't see anything, just fog gray out there. You know, looking out there, watching, and then as time would go by, I'd think, well, it's got to be close. The fog horn goes, no, no ferry, no ferry, but I could hear it. It was coming, and then, and then it would just begin to appear out of the mist, appear out of the fog, and it would be this faint shadow, the fog horn still blasting, and then in a second, the ferry was upon us and it was in clear daylight right in front of us. It was just always so cool how this thing would, you, 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 you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. I mean, all the signs were there that it was coming, but you couldn't quite see it clearly. And then as it got closer and closer and closer, you, your ability to see that ferry coming and then come right out of the mist got better. Bible prophecy works like that. It's like this. For centuries, the Bible's been blowing the foghorn. Womp. This is what it's going to look like at the end of days. And what happens is, is, as prophecy gets closer to being fulfilled, the vision of those who understand and read the prophecies of the Bible, it gets clearer and clearer. And you're like, oh, I can see it. It's taking shape, coming out of the fog. So these are incredible, exciting days in which we live. And so this Sunday... We're going to take some time just to remember some of the Bible prophecies, to look at some of the things God's Word declares to us. And I'm reminded about what Peter said in, in his second letter, the second epistle of Peter. Peter said this as he was speaking to the church. He said, you know, when we told you about Jesus, we weren't telling you about cleverly invented stories that we, were, that we made up. He said, no, we were actually eyewitnesses of these things. We saw these things with our very eyes and we declare to you. And Peter took that principle, the fact that he was an eyewitness to the things of Jesus, and he applied it to the prophets of the Old Testament. And he said, because of that, we can look at these prophets and understand even clearer that these things are going to come true. Look at what he says. And this is from a first, a second Peter Chapter 1, verse 19, I want to read it to you. He said, And we have the word of the prophets made more certain, and you would do well to pay attention. Church, in the days that we live, the foghorn's been blasting, the picture's becoming clearer, and we would do well to pay attention. So we're going to spend some time in Bible prophecy tomorrow. We'll see you there.